Hey, what's up guys? As you can see here, we've got our system working out pretty well here. Not looking too bad. <laughs> Alright, let's go over everything we got going together and uh, we'll see what's up. Uh, so as promised, I went up to my mother's house and I uh, tugged around until I came up with one of these speakers here. This is vintage. Realistic two-way speaker system, catalog number 12-1701, input power 5 watt, maximum output 15 watts, impedance 8 ohms. Yeah. That was in my car when I was a kid. Well, not a kid, a teenager. Surprised she still had them sitting around. And then here we have our amplifier system that we built with the uh, TDA 2030s. Now that 9833, <clears throat> for the life of me, I cannot get it to work. So we're going to use um, the signal generator on the Android phone. The amp wants 12 volt power source. So we'll use a uh, slab to power the amp. It's all in here. Hooking up my grounds first. Why am I hooking up my grounds first? tell you this guys all the time but there's always new folks who are asking hook up my grounds first so that we always are referencing the same potential that's all electricity is is a difference of potential a separation of charges okay so we got the amp powered up here and it is powered by that 9 volt there so next we need to get out the signal generator Let's see if we can't get it right at one kilohertz square or sine wave, and we'll plug it in. And I decided that I wanted Google Maps for some reason. Okay. So, plug it in, power it up. There we go. We can up the volume. And we can change from sine wave, triangle, a uh, exponential drop, square wave, but we want a sine wave. And we'll sweep up to about 20,000 hertz. I'm keeping this relatively quiet. See now, I don't know about you guys, but I can't hear that anymore. Okay. So let's add into the equation our super cheapo meter oscilloscope, the DSO Shell 150. And again, I'm going to hook up my grounds first. It's being powered by a 9 volt source. Okay, so volt. There we go. And we'll get our trigger in there. Now you are seeing a little bit of distortion on there. So the amp is not perfectly clean. But we are outputting 1570.5. And this thing's kind of jumping around there a little bit. Let's uh let's take it up maybe about 3000. There's 3120. And you can see the distortion has cleaned up there a little bit. I'm going to zoom in. Take it up to about 5,000 hertz. Reset our trigger. If it 
wants to. Guess not. I reset it manually. I don't know. Anyway, good enough. So you can see we're still getting some distortion. How about if we go down pretty low, take it down to about 100 hertz? We'll change our seconds per division. And you can see we are still getting a little bit of distortion there. Let's um, take this up here, about 500 hertz. And we'll take the volume, the uh, the output level on the amplifier up. Uh, I'm trying to get to see if you guys can see it here. Whoops. Okay, so as we're looking at that there. We can see the distortion is mostly coming from the input, not so much from the output. So yeah, that's turning out to be a pretty nice little amplifier. Let's drag this over here so you guys can see better. Bumping things all around here. We'll change our wave shape. There's a triangle wave, you can hear the harmonics. More harmonics square wave and now that is just noise so yeah so far there everything's working good let's kill that signal there and we'll bring in our music this is called um, sunshine of my heart and it's just YouTube free music that I use for the ending of my videos And the sound off of this is actually pretty good. This is a nice little amplifier. So we are uh, outputting right now 0.94 watts. And if I crank it all the way up, we're outputting just about one watt. I really do like this little amplifier. This was all right for just a couple bucks. Now this is the one, I think was from icstation.com. Disconnect my power cord so bad things don't happen to good people and good equipment, right? Yeah, yeah, this is one from icstation.com and it is available on Amazon. So that's really nice. I'm impressed with this little kit. Well, we got our winner, finally, for the Anang 8008 giveaway. Heck of a time trying to give that meter away. The first two people we drew, they never uh, got back to me. So the other day we tried a little something different. I said the first person to email me would win the meter, and the first person that emailed me was Nelson Ribeiro de Silva Filho from Brazil. So, abrogado. Nelson is the winner. I've passed his information on to uh, our friends at Banggood. And hopefully, he will have his new Anang 8008 meter pretty soon. So, that's it for today. I know I've been putting out these short videos lately, guys. Um, my son is playing football for the first time this year, and at high school football. He just kind of all of a sudden developed an interest out of nowhere, which really shocked me. And I am an attentive dad. I'm spending my time with the family. A couple weeks left of football season, and we'll be back into some deeper projects. So I appreciate your patience and sticking around with me. And uh, hey, that's it for today. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.